to begin, though, with eight people shot on Detroit's northwest side. At least two of them were killed. It happened following a vigil for a victim of violence in a neighborhood. Detroit Police Chief James Craig is getting ready to talk to reporters. Let's go live downtown to 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich. Julie. Hi, Joanne. I'm downstairs at Detroit's headquarters, and actually we have 7 Action News investigator Jim Kurtzner upstairs waiting until the chief begins speaking so he can have those moments up there with the chief. Again, very senseless violence is what officers were calling it out at the scene. At least two people dead, many more injured. This is where it all started on Patton Street. A big group of people gathered for a prayer vigil last night when a car pulled up and fired shots into the crowd. Family members of those shot tell us their loved ones were here to remember a friend killed earlier in the week. They're still confused as to why and how eight people were shot. We have no idea of who they who was chasing them or nothing. They're not letting us in the hospital. It's a family member car, but we don't know who was driving it. What happened? Is it shot up? Is they in a hospital? They, they, One of the men shot at the vigil died. Another person at the vigil is in critical condition and two other people they're in temporary serious condition. During the shooting, two bullet holes pierced this red car. The car sped away from the vigil, but crashed into a fire hydrant a few blocks over on Burt. One of the men in the car is in critical condition, and a woman who wasn't shot, but was also in the vehicle, was ejected and died. Now, police arrested three people involved in the shooting somehow. They also recovered three guns. One of those guns, an assault rifle, recovered from that home. And you heard in that soundbite a mother saying that they weren't allowed to go into the hospitals. That's because police ended up arresting six people at Sinai Grace and Detroit Receiving Hospitals because once family members got there to see their loved ones, they started fighting with each other. Again, Chief Craig just about to address the media upstairs, and we have uh, 7 Action News investigator Jim Kirstner up there for that. Reporting live from downtown, Joanne, back to you. Right, Julie, what a tragedy. We'll look for more details later. Thank you.